Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you. How can edit your specific one of the page? So if you now click on here, say specific, this product is now visible, right? So now I want to do, I want to update that part. Like if you want to update that name, product code, the details, the also the images, how can do these things in this video? I will show you that things with a live example. So here, first of all, I display it in our edit page. So now go to our edit page. Okay, that is our edit. So right now we don't need this. I just remove all from here. Okay, I just remove it. There is a create, we don't need this. That is our edit page. So into the edit page, first of all, here you can see I just only display that things with this value, right? I just simply display all that our data into the value. And also they have some of the form. So now all that our value data, that means all that our value data, I want to update. Okay, and also I want to update that things with the images. That means the old images. So first of all, doing this here, I want to I want to define one of the URL for this one. So I just simply define that URL. Okay, so here I just simply define that URL. Sorry, I just define that URL, and into this position I define one of the URL as a whatever you want. I just define as an update product. I just simply define as an update product and also we have to update it by a specific one of the ID like you can see they have also one of the IDs we have to update a specific this ID data so here I have to define that thing so I have already get our specific fast data with this product right if you go to our edit here I get our data and take the things with this variable and I also pass that data in our edit page right so now with this product so with this product I have to define that our ID that means our product table ID. So I just simply define with this product our ID. That means in our products table, they have also one of the field. You can see in our products table, they have one of the field as an ID. So I just simply define that ID. And our rest of will be the same, like there will be as a post method, there is a NC type, will be as a multi part and the form data, right? So now we have to do, we have to create this URL. So now go to our web browser area. And now I want to do, I want to better copy it. And here I just simply paste it. So as you see here, I define as a post method. That means it should be as a post method. And also there is our URL. So I just copy that update product, go to our web route here. I define as an update product. And also I want to update it with a specific ID. So here I just simply define that ID because in particular that position, I want to update it with a specific ID, right? And also um, that is our post method. So I just simply define as a post because here I want to update it. That means I want to insert it again in our product controller. I want to create one of the method as an update. So I just simply name it as an update. So now we have to update it. So now go to our product controller. We have to create this method as an update. So now go to our product controller. That is our edit. And after that edit, I just simply define as another one as a public and then function. And then our method name, I just simply define that method. Okay. So as I told you before, when you insert it, when you update it, then first of all, you have to define that things with the request. Okay. So here I just simply define that request and also the dollar request. Okay. I just simply define that request and the dollar request. So we did the same things in our store method. You can see into the store method, I just define as a request and the dollar request. So now I want to update it. I just define that part. And here in our update method, I have also defined one of the ID, right? So we have to take this ID. So we have to take it. So after the request, so here I just simply define our ID because we have to update it with a specific ID. So I just simply define that ID. Okay. And now it should be just like that same, like oh, it should be again actually store all the data. So in our store method, I have already defined all that our field. And also you can see that is our images. So it should be just like that same, Better I just simply copy all the things from here. Okay, so that is our sign line, second line here, and that is our array. So I just simply copy it. And now in our that method area, in our update method. So here I just simply paste it. Okay. But here one thing. Like when you update, like here from our edit page, when you update, like I have already one of the images, right? 
so i want to do i want to replace that image like when you upload the new image automatically our old image will be gone from here okay that means it should be also gone from our that area it should be replaced with our new image so i want to do that work for so if you want to do that work first of all we have to take this our old image so in our edit page i want to create one of the field for the um, hidden one of the input field uh, like that is our old image that means which image is already exist so better i want to do i want to take one of the um, input field so i just simply define one of the input field and i, I just define the type will be as a hidden okay that means it will be not visible so i just define that name and i just take one of the name as a old okay i just name it as a old logo and then i also want to define that our old logo value so it should be our old logo i just simply define that part with this our product right with this product i just define that our logo so here i just have to do i have to define that so i just simply define our old logo in particular that area which images is already in our database field so here i just take one of the hidden field so this hidden field will be not visible and i just name it as a old image okay so what exactly the things i want to do when i upload new image our this old image with this name i want to remove it okay so for the reasons here i take one of the input field that means hidden input field so now go to our controller into the controller that is our update method and here i take one of the variable i take one of the variable for the as a whatever you want i like name it as a old image or old logo okay i name it as a old logo and now with this request we have to pass it so i just simply pass that request and for this one i take one of the field name so i just name it as a old logo right so i just simply copy it and now here i just simply pass that things with this request so now our array will be the same our product name will be updated that product code will be updated the date that means the details will be updated and the images and that is our field name will be as a logo right so now only when they have any new image i want to do i want to unlink our old image okay that means when you upload any new image our this old image will be deleted that means if you want to delete it then you have to define as a laravel one of the function as unlink so after that that means when they have any image i want to do i want to define as unlink okay there is an unlink function into the unlink function i want to unlink which image i want to unlink our old image right so for that reasons here i take one of the field i just name it as a old image and i just take that our requested old image take the things with this variable so now i just unlink this old image perfect i think it should be very much clear to you and after that it should be just like that same it should be created another new name for our new images that is our our get original extension it should be uploaded that path area and then i just define that move in particular that area okay and that is our logo will be the same and here that is a database if we the, our products in our products table i want to update it so now before update i have to put on the condition because here i have one of the id right so we have to update that condition so i just simply define as where where our product table that means in our product table one of the field as a id sorry id and it should be matched with our requested id that means that is our requested id when it should be matched then it should be update so now i want to use our update method so i just simply define as the update method update our all the data perfect and after that update it should be redirected to our redirect our route it should be redirected to our product index space that means in our product list space it should be oh, it's okay with me and with some of the success message so now here when it should be update i want to display some of the message as a product updated successful so i just simply define as update okay updated successfully with this new message perfect right so that is the things that is our last one that is our totally lost so friend i think it should be very much clear to you and also in our index page i have already get that id if you go to our product index page you can see i have already defined that id as a success with this alert alert success it should be show that message okay so here we don't need to do anything now let's check this out i just click on the save all okay i just click on the save all and now go here and now i just click on the go back click on the refresh 
like here i want to replace this one that means that is our this one in our media that have also that image image will be replaced like i just click on the edit and now here i define as a product new 1111 i just simply define as a 11 okay like better here i define as a 11 and that is our old image and now i want to use our new image like this one i just click on the open click on the submit yes you can see now it's showing that message as a product updated successful so our product name is updated product code is updated details is updated and also you can see our new image is now visible and also now if you go to our media you can see our old image is now replaced with our new image so friend i think it's very much clear to you how we did that work so each and every line should be very much clear to you how we can make the things update okay so also you updated with a specific one of the id so now it's perfectly updated so in our next video i want to do if you want to delete that post that means the product from your product list page then how can do that work in this in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video